I'm Norris Marshall, and I'm running for the SEMA Board of Directors. I'd like to tell you a story about the first engine that I ever built. I was a regular hot rod kind of kid uh, when, back in the 70s, and used to get Hot Rod Magazine and CarCraft Magazine and read those cover to cover. And one day, in 1977, there was a Hot Rod Magazine that had an article in it about an engine that Jack Roush had built. And I decided that that was going to be the first engine I built. I had an old 69 Ford pickup to put it in, and we were off to the races. And I ended up taking the, all the goods and uh, the magazine article to a machine shop in Kearney and said, this is what we're making, and they did the machine work. But when I got all done, I was missing one item, and that was the 302 Boss intake manifold. So I thought, I'm going to buy a manifold from Jack Roush. So I got on the telephone and called information. I said, I need to talk to Jack Roush in Livonia, Michigan. So she gave me a number. I called him, explained that I was building this engine and that I needed an intake manifold. And it was Jack on the phone that I was talking to. He said he had an intake manifold. He would sell it to me for $75. So this is the original intake manifold on this engine that Jack Roush sent to my house, COD, for $75. Later on, at a, I think a SEMA show, uh, Jack Roush was in the booth, uh, the Roush booth, and he was there signing autographs or whatever. And I told him that story. And he reached in his back pocket and pulled out a business card that had his personal phone number on it and gave it to me. I never have called him. I didn't need to. I already had the intake manifold, so I was covered. But uh, it was nice to know that he appreciated the story, and that's how we got started.